Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me on my YouTube and Rumble channels this morning. Today is May the 2nd of 2023, and I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord today. Once again, thank you for taking the time to view these videos, and my hope is that they will bless you as you hear the word spoken. For those of you who are new, please take a minute to subscribe and click the notification bell for notification of further videos as they come out. For those of you who would like a hard copy of The Daily Word, go to my website and click on the downloadable, printable PDF on the first page. If you want to go back and review previous words given, click on the archive icon to access them. As with other words the Lord has been sharing with us, He speaks about the work that He has for us as His people to do in this word today. Once again, he encourages us that we do have a purpose in life, and that purpose is to be doing the Father's will. And so this word today is another reminder that if we feel that we are purposeless in this life, that there is no hope for us, or that the things of the world are not satisfying us, and we are looking for something more worthwhile. The Lord is telling us that He has predestined us for the work that He wants us to be doing. And so as we seek Him and submit to His leadership, we will be made ready and put into action to perform those works He has prepared in advance for us to do. This word today is titled, Fulfilling God's Purpose in Your Life. I'll begin by reading scripture. John 1 verse 4 through 5, In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. This scripture passage is speaking about the light of Christ that we receive when we become believers in Jesus. Matthew 5 verses 14 through 15 You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. This scripture passage encourages us that we are to shine forth the light the Lord has put in us, Ephesians 2 verse 1 For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus, to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. This scripture verse is straightforward. It is telling us that God created us for good works for the works that he has prepared in advance for us to do. Philippians 2 verse 13 For it is God who works in you to will and to act in order to fulfill his good purpose. This scripture verse tells us that it is God working in us to fulfill his purposes through us. I'll begin reading the word. Run to receive the prize. 
Run and do not slow your pace, but keep in step with the Spirit, says the Lord. Do the work set before you. I am with you. I am within you. I am your comfort and your strength. I will not leave you, nor will I forsake you, but I will always provide for you everything that you need. You will see that as I take you into places of darkness, you will have the power within you to cause the darkness to flee. I will take you into these places. I will fulfill my promise to you that I will use you to bring in the lost. I am sending you out. I am opening the doors that have been barred to those who are in gross darkness, and my light shall draw them out. They shall be drawn unto the light, and the darkness will not be able to hold them. The joy of the Lord shall be your strength as you go forth. This joy shall rise up from deep within you, and, coupled with compassion, it shall be that which keeps your light burning. You will see great and marvelous things as you have not seen or known, for the gates of hell are breaking open, and the prisoners are being released from the grips of darkness they have been held in, and they shall leap and dance and rejoice, for they shall see the light and come and be healed by the power of my love at work in their lives. There is no darkness too great that I am not able to break its power over the lives of the people. Those that are let loose will be restored to wholeness, to a sound mind, and to a new life of freedom and joy of the Holy Spirit. I will take you into places of grave darkness, and to those who have been robbed of life by the enemy. These shall be restored back to life. These are the ones I am reaching out to. These are the ones I am plucking out of the fire. These are the ones my heart goes out to, the ones who are lost beyond hope in this world. Why would I cast pearls before swine to continue to pour out my life to those who are obstinate and unreceptive? Why would I extend myself over and over again to those who mock the workings of my spirit, to those who are set in their ways and unable to give up adultery with the world, those who have had my word, yet have not received me, but continue in their religious feasts and rituals, thinking that I would be pleased with their sacrifice. I am pleased with those who seek me with all their heart and fear my name. These are the ones who will dine with me at my table, says the Lord. Look around you and you will see something you have not known. Those who were outcasts, abandoned by those in high places, coming into the kingdom of God. They will be filled with my joy and my life. They shall be transformed into the image of Christ. They shall follow the Lamb wherever he goes, for they will not love their lives, but they will be willing to give them up unto the Lord. You will marvel at the work I do, for they shall come from the east and the west to sit down at the table of the Lord. I am working in the hearts of my servants, removing their hardness of heart and transforming their lives. I am setting them free from idolatry, establishing them in the truth and equipping them to receive the harvest of souls coming in. They shall have great compassion for the ones coming in, and they shall allow me to use everything they call their own 
for the work of the kingdom. They shall no longer hoard up my blessings for themselves, says the Lord, but they shall pour them out upon the poor, and they shall experience great joy in doing this, for they shall rejoice in what the Lord is doing. Continue in the way that I have shown you. Press in and press on in the task at hand. This is the work that I have ordained for you in this day. This is the groundwork for the structure being put in place, that you reach out to the poor, the neglected, those tossed away by society as a dirty rag. My heart longs for the oppressed to be set free, for the enemy of their lives to be silenced, and I choose to use you. Do not despise the work I have commissioned you to. I long to establish you as a lighthouse set upon a hill, that all may see the light and be drawn to it. Do not run from the work that I have prepared for you. For when the refining work of my spirit has brought my people into complete surrender to my will, the light shall break forth, and the doors to the lost shall be swung open wide. You will be anchored into a position of great authority, and the opportunities to go into the places of darkness to save the lost from the fires of hell will abound, and just as I promised, I will provide everything you need to do the work. I am looking after every detail, and nothing will be overlooked. I am orchestrating this work. It is my work through you, and it is a great and marvelous work. You will see it, and you will be in awe at the authority released unto you in it. For I am releasing great authority unto those who walk in my ways, says the Lord. This is the way you must go. I desire to use you greatly to take back ground from the enemy. You will marvel at the magnitude of the power released in your midst as you walk in humility and obedience before the Lord your God. Give, and it will be given unto you. Do the works of the Father. Give up the works of the flesh, the cravings of the sinful nature. Surrender all at the Lord's feet, and you will see great and awesome things. For the Lord desires that you let go of this life and offer yourself up as a living sacrifice unto him. This is your reasonable service. It is not strange, but it is what the Lord has always desired for his people. When the people of old walked in obedience to this, they were used mightily of God. Likewise, those who are willing and obedient to walk in this way will eat of the land. They shall take possession of the land. They shall walk in the full authority of Christ. Great and marvelous are the works of the Lord. Great and marvelous are his ways. In this word today, the Lord is making it clear that his desire is to use his people to reach the lost. He has called us to this work. This work has been predestined for us. It has been prepared in advance for us to walk in. The Lord is encouraging us to be willing to let go of the things of this world to let go of our own lives, to give them to him that he may use us for his purposes. And so if we question our existence and its purpose, 
the Lord is clarifying to us that he has created us to do his good works. Of course, we have a choice. We can choose to live for ourselves, or we can choose to embrace God's purpose for our lives. The Bible tells us that we are being changed from glory to glory, that we are being changed into the image of Christ. And it tells us that Jesus did not do anything except what the Father showed him to do. And so, as we become Christians and become one with Christ, we are being changed to also do the works of the Father. The Lord has put his light in us, and it is a light that will draw the unbeliever to him. The Lord wants us to shine that light, to come into alignment with what he is doing in this day to reach the lost, and especially those who have been rejected and cast aside as hopeless. The Lord wants to reach these because these will be willing to let go of their lives and receive the life that Christ has for them. The work we have to do, even individually, is pivotal in God's plan. My prayer is that we will all be willing and obedient to walk this walk the Lord has called us to, to do the good works he has prepared in advance for each one to walk in. May the Holy Spirit stir in your heart today, flame into fire the passion to serve the Lord Jesus Christ to be his light in this world of darkness. Thank you for listening today. May the Lord bless you and encourage you. May he pour out his love upon you. May he speak to you and reveal to you personally his heart for you in the work he has called you to. Be blessed to be a blessing. Have a great afternoon and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings to you all in the name of Jesus. Bye for now.